Jackson. Yeah, so go I'm, ahead. I, I'm, cur I'm curious too. I'm curious too. John, the, the world wants to know what, what happened with the contract, with the, the deal that was proposed. Let's talk about boxing. That's what we're here to do, box. <laughs> Certainly is boxing. Is Certainly is a deal about boxing. I'm concentrated. Before you leave, John, just about that contract, just to be clear. Why don't you shut up? But just to be clear about this. Listen, listen, video boy. No, no, but the, the contract. Yeah, just shut up, video boy. No, but I'm little just, nobody. But John, I'm curious about. He just, he just curious. Could, could you give me an answer? I'm his maybe? manager, so go on. So you I'm, 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 cur I'm curious too. I'm curious too. John, the, the world wants to know what happens with the contract. What's going on here a minute? Wait a minute. Have I got to miss so many people? Jake Paul and family. Back home, well rested. Ed's back on business. Jake, you know what I'm, you know what I'm gonna do. We had a deal, mate. We had an handshake. We said we box for free if we got defeated. You say you'd pay double if Tommy could beat you, and that's what he done. Tommy beat you convincingly. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is honour and step up to the plate and pay your bill. We had a gentleman's agreement in front of millions of people worldwide. We shook hands on national world television in the great country of Saudi. You know. And please do not come out with all the contract bullshit, mate. I can hardly read and write. I'm a gypsy. I'm uneducated, you know, but listen. Hmm. One more time. With the... John, the, the world wants to know what, what happened with the contract. With the, the deal that was proposed. Let's talk about boxing. That's what we're here to do, box. Certainly is boxing. Is Certainly is a deal about boxing. I'm concentrated. Before you leave, John, just about that contract, just to be clear. Why don't you shut up? But just to be clear about this. Listen, listen, video boy. No, no, but the, the contract. Yeah, just shut up, video boy. No, but I'm little just, nobody. But John, I'm curious about. He's just, he just curious. Could you give me an answer? I'm his manager, so go on. I'm, 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 cur I'm curious too. I'm curious too. John, the, the world Oh was no, no people. Oh no. What's good, family? It's Amanda YB. Back once again. Big shout out to my doggy. Any chance for coming through and boosting up the coin? So we just heard there from your man's John. Oh, scary. This is bad, people. This is super duper bad with it. <laughs> I'm not even sure where to go with this one, people. So. Let me give you the context here. Will you, anyone who's not a Team Fury Man fan knows, last week on Friday, when Jake Paul proposed the bet, Jake Paul had a contract and signed it. At which point, John Scary said, oh yeah, we're going to do this, you got my word, and oh, shake on it, all this other rubbish. Shortly after that, 12 hours before the fight, Jake Paul comes out and confirms... Timmy Fumbles, Team Fumbles, refused to sign. All that talk about handshake and whatever rubbish. Not the window. Yeah. Since then, again, as you've seen over the last few days, John Fury and his son Tommy have come out on the record trying to press Jake Paul. And I ain't got, listen, I ain't got a problem. If Tommy had assigned, and or if both men agreed the handshake was what the deal was, for example... If Jake Paul says, listen, let's do a bet, I bet you a million dollars A, B, C, D, let's shake on it. Yeah, if that was the extent of the bet, listen, I bet you a million dollars, let's shake on it. And that's the extent, fair play. But the fact Jake Paul brought a contract out, that supersedes any handshake rubbish. Because why wouldn't you want to lock it in, after all? The contract's the pinnacle. Great. In fact, John himself was saying, I want that in writing, thank you very much. Don't worry, we've got another leak coming soon this week. You best believe it. We're going to break this down one by one, though, because ain't nothing going to miss in here. So, like I said, John Fury out here and his son Timmy on Good Morning Britain, the biggest show in the UK. Ah, oh, Jake Paul needs to be a real man. Let's see if Jake Paul a real man right now. Let's see if he can do whatever. Now, genuinely... Like I said the other day, if these men, never mind the handshake rubbish, but if these men are really about it, I wouldn't even mind if, again, if these men were really about it, as in they were keen on the bet, but just didn't want to sign. For example, let's say if John Fury was in, even in this video saying, the bet's on, I shook your hand. Isn't it? Do, you know, do you get what I'm saying here? I don't even necessarily have a problem with John Fury not signing a contract. The point is, when... John Fury was confronted about the bet. 
I think this this video here was leaked from Fight Night. If you hear carefully, John says, I'm, look, I'm watching, I'm busy here. I'm busy watching. Now, it's either Jake Paul's hands being wrapped or it's Jake Paul's gloves being picked. It's one of the two. So this is hours before the fight. Hours before the fight, John Fury said, I'm focusing on the fight. We ain't focusing on the contract. And this proves nothing's been signed. Boxing talk with Ade. Oh, it's, uh, um, Jake Paul needs to pay up. The contract's been signed. If the contract was signed, why didn't John Fury let us know that? Why did John Fury say he's trying to, he ain't trying to hear about the contract. He's trying to focus on the fight. Oops, because there ain't no contract signed. Yeah, if at this point the contract had been signed, John Fury would be saying, what are you talking about a contract? We've been signed that hours ago. Now we're focused on the fight. He ain't say that. He obfuscating classic team scary strategy. Ooh, ooh. Give it all the witness to thing. This is the leaked camera. These guys didn't know it was on camera. Yeah, because when it's on camera, I mean, we saw the other video I put out the other day. Tommy Fury pumping weights. And John Fury says, oh, go around the corner so no one can see you pumping your arms up. It's on. It's unbelievable stuff, people. These guys are true internet clowns. They do things for the camera. John Fury comes on woofing about real man and thoroughbred and pure blood and bare knuckle 400 lineage and all this rubbish. And in reality, when it comes down to it, he don't want to know. And not only that, like this whole culture of, oh, we respect people. John Fury just tried to, not even take the Michael, but try to completely humiliate someone. Oh, you're a cameraman, you're a nobody. That shows you the true person John Fury is. All that talk about honour and whatever else. This guy won't do nothing out of our turn. He was asking you to back your way, or not even back up. He was asking you, where is your woof, Mr. John Scary? And in response to that, you're trying to downgrade someone who, who works as a video guy. As if you're, I'm not being funny, John. You're only known because of your sons. Without your sons, you'd be another unemployed bum who just got out of the clink. That's the God's honest truth. Let's be real here. Where would John Fury, a convicted 10-year felon, be working at without his sons? Nowhere. And I put, I'll put this to you. Being a video guy off your own back is 10... No, no, I'm telling you now. No father... With any kind of, what's the word? And no father with any kind of substance to him wants to be living off his sons. The only thing worse than that is, or the only thing, I think it's worse actually, living off a woman's one thing, living off your own blood, that's a whole other, that's different. If you're disabled, that's, you know what I mean, that's what it is what it is. But John Fury, a big able man, and he's living off his sons. And he's got the audacity to say, oh, you're a nobody cameraman. Who are you? He was a big mouth dad who never did nothing in his own life and clinging on to his in onto his son's coattails. Big facts. Yeah? Truth is, John Fury wants to he's been wanting to train Tyson and Fury this whole time. Tyson hasn't let him in the door. Tommy has. That's the God's honest truth. I remember years ago it was controversial from in prison, and that's apparently one of the reasons they fell out. People don't know this. John Fury has a brother called Peter Fury. Tyson Fury used to be trained by Peter Fury. They fell out. And one of the reasons is John Fury was irritated that his brother was essentially getting the money and working with Tyson. Shortly after that, shortly after John Fury got out of jail, Tyson Fury left Peter Fury. Do you know what I mean? It's one of them ones. John Fury is all about the coin, all about himself. And this really, un un um, this really reveal or unveils the veil of John Scary. He's a fraud. All this talk about, oh, we're honest men, we're humble men. There's nothing humble about what you just watched there. The guy's a clown. He's been outed in a leaked video, and that's the bottom line. Yeah, you woofed on stage about how hard you was, about how much you want this bet, and when it came to it, you're out here throwing your toys out the pram, taking personal shots. The guy weren't doing nothing. He didn't come at you and say, John, you've capped your pants. Where are your nuts at? He asked you a question. He was... Giving it all the bars. Oh, about the bet. We're just following up on it, John. And that's what you get. You get a face full and a mouth full and handed off and God knows what else. And I wouldn't even mind. This clown here, or the whole clown family, who have come out, both of them. Oh, it's a bet. You should honour a bet. And the worst thing is, like I mentioned earlier, there's actually people in the media, like Ade. I think Ade is cool, but the bottom line is, Ade is out here. Yeah, um, it's a handshake. It's a bet. 
But, oh, you should, you should um, stand by your bet. What? Clown. Yeah? And like I said, I wouldn't mind. John Fury, after the fight, as you've seen, said, we don't do contracts, we don't do this at the other, we do handshakes, we're bare knuckle, we're 400 years of handshakes, and we don't know anything about pens and paper. If when questioned on Fight Night in this video you've just watched, yeah, John Fury could have answered saying, listen, I don't know anything about a contract, I don't read or write, but you've got my word as a man. If John Fury had said that then, and then, kind of, after the fight, maintained that stance, he'd have a leg to stand on. Hey, listen, people, look, the leaked videos come out, and John Fury's been consistent. John Fury told us, told him then, his hand, his handshake was his word. For example, when John Fury could have used this as an opportunity to say, listen, people, I don't do things in writing, but I'm telling you now, God is my witness, you've got my word. If we lose this fight tonight, you, I'm, I'm going to make sure you get your, your bet. Did Listen, did John Fury come with any of that energy? No. The energy he came was, was that he don't want nothing to do with the bet. That's the energy he had. Do you understand, people? It wasn't a... Yeah? In this video, you didn't just see a man who didn't know how to read, but was desperate and confident. You didn't see a man who wants the bet, but just doesn't want to do the contract. Or thinks the handshake was enough. If that was the case, like I said, John Fury would be saying, listen, my handshake's enough. Yes, the bet's on. The bet's on, we've shook on it, and it's it's game. Where was that energy at? Oh, I'm not what I'm not what bet? What bet's that then? I don't know about oh I am focusing on I'm trying to concentrate on this. I'm not, I'm not talking about the bet, I'm not doing the Yeah, this guy had nothing to want not even had wanted nothing to do with a bet that's the bottom line evidence people what we saw here when questioned in private essentially he makes it quite clear he doesn't even sit on the fence for example he could say listen the lawyers have got it it's up to timmy he didn't even say that he literally couldn't have been further away from it he said i want nothing to do with this bet get out of my face that's what he said and it's all well, it's one thing, yeah. It's one thing to jump all in the video at the press conference and woof about how much you want it. And then to flop and just kind of fizzle out to somewhere. For example, we all know Timmy won the fight or whatever. It'd be one thing for John to woof in the press conference, hype it all up, and then not follow through with the contract. It's a whole nother ball game to woof at the press conference, bottle it. When it comes to the contract. And then. I mean this guy clearly. he, he I mean. I, I don't believe he knew this was on camera. That's what. I, I don't believe he knew this was going to come out. He couldn't have done. Because surely a man who knows he's been exposed. Bottling a bet. How can he jump on social media on the Monday morning. Talking about we shook on it and whatever else. Knowing this was out there. He didn't know. Some, he didn't know. John Fury did not expect this to be on camera. Of him cacking his pants about the bet. But that's how you know this guy is complete trash. Complete chancer. Trashy, trashy chancer. Yeah? This was his perfect opportunity. This could have been a strengthening thing for the bet. In that sense. Or for the handshake. It's, what's that saying? It's not what you do in the light that counts. It's what you do in the dark. Yeah? When no one's watching. A, and listen. In the press conferences, everyone's watching it. Everyone's watching. That's not when it counts. What did John Fury? What energy did John Fury have when there was no one around to perform to? What energy did John Fury have when it really mattered? I.e., when it came to actually, you know what I mean? Listen, John Fury was never going to agree to something on the press conference stage. This in this environment, personal, face to face, my team and your team. That's when you find out who the real person is, and who's the real person. Running off, trying to hand the camera off, storming out, storming Norman. And bottom line, wanted nothing to do with a bet. This right here is an indictment on how fake Team Scary are. They're fake through and through, but they're worse than fake. Like I said, fake's one thing, but to be fake and then to still try it is a whole nother level, people. You'd think, he'd be thinking, damn man. 
Let's just be happy that we got away with the split decision win. Let's just be happy that the videos of me cacking my pants when they came to the dressing room don't get out there. Do you know what I mean? Like this guy. For this guy to come out on Monday and talk about pay your bet, you'd think this video never existed, wouldn't you? John Fury must have known. Wait a minute. It's, I best not mention this bet because they was in my dressing room pressing me on it. And my back end went flapped. Do you know what I mean? But clearly, the guy ain't got the highest IQ. That's what we do know as a fact. Because only a clown can come out, draw an attention to something. Well, yeah, bottom line. John, none of us, facts, yeah. None of us would have seen this. That's just a fact. This never came out. This didn't come out until afterwards. Or certainly, I'm telling you now, I'm involved in a YouTube boxing game kind of thing. And I hadn't seen this video until John Fury put his videos out. And then people started clipping this and putting it everywhere. I didn't even know there was a categorical piece of evidence of John Fury wanting nothing to do with it. Now there's a video, I've done, I did it myself. I've done a video on Tommy. Before the fight there was a video of Tommy saying, Oh, I'm just focused on fighting and it's with my team. When someone said, Tommy, have you signed the bet? He goes, oh, it's with my team, I'm just focused on fighting. I don't know anything about it. Do you understand? So John, he was the guy in there shaking hands and doing God knows what. At that point, until John opened his big mouth, I didn't know he was caught on camera, absolutely cacking his pants. And yet here we are. This is a huge L. A huge L. And it shows you how messy John is. He's a no shame have an ass dude. He really thought... You know what I mean? This guy really thought... Uh, well, and that's the great thing about karma. Karma will come back and get you. John thought he was going to be out here pressing people. And, and you know what? Scrap this. I'm going to put the video out of Tommy as well. Tommy's just as bad. Yeah, Tommy's just as bad on Good Morning Britain talking about... Yeah, if he's a true man, he'll do the bet. Wait a minute, Tommy. I've got a video of you saying that you don't know anything about the bet and it's with your team. Why weren't you saying then, listen, you've asked me about have I signed the contract, I'm a pure fighting man, I don't read or write, Jake Paul's got my handshake, my ha my bond's my word, if I say the bet's on, the bet's on, that's what Tommy Fury could have said, same as John Fury in this video, they could have said that, and, they, and that would have, you know what I mean, that would have carried some weight, listen man, they was pressed behind closed doors and they, 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 they said it was on and they, they, their handshake meant something. Instead, that's not what we saw. Both men, Timmy and his dad, flapped it. Yeah? And now, because they've nicked a fight on points after going life and death, having to scrape themselves off the floor, they're trying to cash them more coins in. Shameless. Shameless. Completely shameless. It's no real It's no real shock that you've got Tyson Fury out here running for music as well. I'm going to call a spare spade. Tyson Fury running for music, bottom line. Anyway. Let me know your thoughts, people. John Scary, completely exposed. Look at this guy having to step in. John Fury's having to be saved by Tommy Fury's corny manager. Wow, it's a wrap for these guys. Smash the like button, subscribe, and lack off the bell.